your guide to a healthy home. Have you noticed condensation or mould in your home? Do you wonder where it's coming from? Or how to prevent it? Condensation is a perfectly normal occurrence and doesn't mean there's a problem with your home, so you shouldn't be alarmed. In this video, we'll show you how to keep your home free from condensation and mould. Everyday activities in our homes produce moisture. Things like running a bath or shower, cooking or drying laundry can all add moisture to the air in our homes. Sometimes this moisture turns into condensation, especially in colder winter months. You might see this as damp patches or even mould on your windows, ceilings or walls. What causes condensation at home? There are three main reasons for condensation in your home. 1. There's too much moisture in the air. 2. There's not enough ventilation to remove moist air. 3. Your room or home is too cold. If condensation regularly forms in your home, it can lead to mould. So try our top tips to keep your home free from moisture. Tip number one. Did you know that warm air can hold more moisture and cause less condensation? If your home has condensation on surfaces like walls and windows, it is important to make sure your home is heated properly. If you can, turn the thermostat to a steady 16 degrees Celsius. Tip number two. Cooking can add lots of moisture to the air. So put a lid on your saucepan to keep the steam in and open a window to let the moisture out. If you have an extractor fan, turn it on. Keep the door to your kitchen closed to stop moist air moving to the rest of your home. Tip number three. When you fill in a bath or take in a shower, close the door and open a window. Turn on the extractor fan if your bathroom has one fitted. Did you know that if you add cold water to your bath before the hot water, you'll create less steam? Tip number four. Drying laundry releases a lot of moisture into the air, so dry your washing outside whenever you can. And when that's not possible, it's better not to put your laundry over a radiator to dry. Instead, Place your drying rack in the middle of a cooler room where you can shut the door and open a window. Tip number five. Even when you're not cooking, taking a shower or drying laundry, good ventilation will keep your home free from condensation. Make sure you open windows regularly and keep trickle vents open. Tip number six. Make sure there's a gap between your furniture and external walls and avoid putting your mattress directly on the floor. When air can move around freely, it will help stop mould growing in your home. Tip number seven. Outside your home, store things like bins or bikes away from your walls. Otherwise, they can stop the sun warming your home and prevent adequate ventilation. Where there are air bricks, flues or ventilators, make sure these are kept clear so moist air can leave your home. Did you know there is no need to purchase expensive cleaning products or chemicals to remove mould or condensation? A dry absorbent cloth will remove any condensation from windows and mould patches can be wiped away with warm soapy water. It is important that you then follow our top tips to prevent condensation and mould returning. However, if condensation or mould continue to affect your home, get in touch with us. We'll book a visit to explore the problem further and help you find a solution.